I'm going to use a uh, fresh clean paper towel, wipe this off, give it a blast with a carb cleaner, and uh, give another quick clean off. And what we're looking for is a nice clean ring all the way around, nice uniform surface and there might be some pitting and stuff like that. I have a little bit of discoloration but nothing that looks like it's going to allow the gases to pass by. It's, per it's not perfect on this one. The intake valves are much better but by all means I think this valve is going to seal just fine. And again on this, on the head, you wipe out this stuff here. Blast uh, blast it out with a carb cleaner. Wipe it out real good. And again on here what you're looking for is a nice uniform clean is the key clean ring all the way around. So when you put that valve back in it should be making a nice seal. All right. So that's that. I like to make sure it's real clean before I put it back in. Fresh towel, wipe off all that grit, especially on the valve stem. You don't want it getting down in the cylinder either, so you got to make sure this is cleaned out. Nice, nice. You got the exhaust. I even have an extra paper towel still stuffed in there. Yeah. All right. And while you're in here you want to make sure you take out any big chunks of carbon deposit that are in this port here. And after that, it's time to reinstall the valve. I recommend putting in new valve seals. The valve seal is right here and it's got a spring around the neck of it to kind of clamp onto the shaft of this valve and you could install the valve right through the bottom, slide it up right through the seal. You can kind of feel it around, make sure there's no nothing feeling gritty in there. You can hear it kind of make a nice little clapping sound. That means Yay, we're doing good. And then, uh, really at this point there's nothing left to do except put the valve spring back on and these keepers. Um, there's really no trick. Just make sure you get the thin end down. It's kind of like a wedge. And at the first one, you just kind of, you don't have to push down hard. It's already compressed, but you just mostly have to move it to one side or the other. And it sits in the uh, the groove on the neck of the valve. It kind of locks itself into place. Take the other one, find where it needs to go, and just kind of do what looks right. And they're already in there. And you can immediately take this thing off. If you push hard, you can even see it opening up. But what you got there is a valve job. Quick and dirty. Emphasis on quick. Not so much dirty, but hope you enjoy and uh, good luck with your own XR or otherwise adventures. Thank you.